So last week we showed you the entire process of how Renee airbrushed Harley Quinn and the Joker onto Eric Vargas' 2013 Harley Davidson Sport Glide. Today is a big day as we show Eric the final result. All right, Eric, you ready? Yeah. All right, man, we're gonna come check this thing out. All right, so everybody knows, uh, well, we know, and you guys know that Renee has been putting a ton of work into airbrushing and painting this motorcycle over the last few weeks, but Eric here, the owner of the bike, has never seen it, never laid eyes on it. This is the first time he's gonna see the airbrush work that we've done for it, so uh, you ready to check it out? I'm definitely ready to check it out. All right, man, let's do it, let's do it. It's right up in here in the booth. All right, step on in there and take a look. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. That is sick. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, my God. Dude, I, I, I couldn't have imagined it coming out like this at all. Uh, at all. It's perfect. Well, that was one of the things I said. Go to town. Like, if it's your bike, man, have fun with it, you know? I did. It's, it's beautiful. You're gifted. Super nice. Uh, bless your talent. Uh, totally incredible. Now, now, let me ask you one thing. When you first met us, you came to us to get this bike wrapped, and we just thought that this solution would be a much better way than the wrap on this particular bike because of all the flares in the corners. So um, what do you think about the uh, change of uh, method? Um, I was happy that you gave me some suggestions. I went home, kicked the idea around, and I said, you know what, maybe he's right, but I never expected this. Man. Yeah. Never expected that it would come out uh, like this. <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's the nice thing about dealing with this company because obviously we're a wrap company and we wrap a ton of vehicles, but having the option, having Renee here to do this level of work, it's just, you know, ridiculous. So it's really nice to be able to offer the options to our clients, you know, to have this type of work done. When I came in and I had spoken to Dale, Dale told me you were a heck of an airbrush brush artist and says, okay, cool. Um, let's see how it goes. And then we spoke a bit and you told me about your uh, website. And I went on the website and that's when I saw your work and I was like, wow, this guy's good. Um, and I, I love to paint, I love to draw. Uh, and I thought I was pretty good. But when I saw some of your stuff, I said, okay, he's incredible. And if you guys haven't seen this guy's pencil sketches, you're in for a treat. You really need to see him. Yeah, you were really easy to work with. When I come up with idea, you were like, you know, okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. So that was, I thought that was really cool too. One artist to another. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Do you have an idea how much time, how many hours you spent just on this? I think like 16 hours. 16 hours. Wow. My goodness, we could have wrapped it in 16 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but it damn sure wouldn't have looked like that. No way. That's awesome. No way. All right, so obviously you brought some artwork into us to duplicate. Harley Quinn, got the Joker over here. Definitely a themed bike. Can you tell me why you chose this theme? Uh, Harley Quinn for me started out with Batman, of course. For those that don't know, uh, She's a character from DC, a Batman character. Um, and I used to read the comic books as a kid. So it was always a childhood crush. You know, I, yeah. I, liked, the, I liked the whole theme and everything. I had a buddy, uh, and you and I discussed this off camera, mm -hmm. that I knew for 20 some odd years. Um, unfortunately, I lost him to depression, um, which in, in turn kind of threw my life into a whirlwind. But lo and behold, I've come out of it. And one of the things that he and I used to do a lot of was building bikes. Nice. Uh, he was incredible. He used to just fabricate all kinds of stuff. Um, so this was pretty much a dedication to him. So for the, the fact that this is going to be on my bike, yep. I'm so proud Man. that you guys took the opportunity and you put so, so much of your talent into this and your hard work. I'm eternally grateful Man. to you You're because happy? it's a long time coming, man. A long time coming. Wow. Thank you. Man, it was so awesome to see how excited Eric was to see Renee's artwork. He was so appreciative that he invited us to be there when he debuted his bike at his motorcycle club's next meeting. Originally, we thought this reveal here at the shop was going to be the end of our video, but we had no idea what was in store for us when he did the real reveal with his crew. Let's check it out. It was an incredible feeling to finally get her back together, but once I started her and got down the road, it was like chills, man. Incredible feeling. Now I can't wait to show it to the guys. Man, Renee did a killer job on this. The last time you saw that, it was on the table at Media One. Now take a look at it. Now they're on the bike, and uh, I think it looks excellent, man. About to show it to all my buddies at the club. A little nervous, but excited at the same time. Um, can't wait. Let's get it done. Hey, 
Hey, everybody. Uh, get, look at this. I'm, I'm trying to do the interview. I'm Rick's just enamored the by the bikes. Man. I can't even look. You know. I'm at home we, here. I hey, love this. Yeah. I'm trying to get Rick to talk about our motorcycles we're doing out here. Anyway, here we are on this beautiful Saturday morning out here. Sun's shining. We're out here with the Veteran Enforcers Motorcycle Association. This crew here with all their bikes lined up. Beautiful bikes. I can barely oh, yeah. keep look Rick's focus on the business at hand. He's just enamored by these motorcycles. Yeah, we're here today and we are unveiling our Harley Quinn motorcycle with Eric Vargas. You guys were here, you saw how we did this bike yes, and everything, sir. and now we're going to announce it to his club. Renee, what do you think about, are you excited about this? Yeah, this is crazy, man. I'm very excited about this. And I like how he just walked in front of us. <laughs> so, and, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I'm, 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 I airbrushed it. I spent a lot of time on the bike and stuff, but I haven't seen it all put together, man. And I'm really yeah, none excited. of us yeah. have seen it put they together. It, all we've seen they is parts. It to us in parts, so we painted all the parts, yeah. and then he took it home and put it together. So yeah. yep. this will be the first time we see it all together also. It's exciting. Super excited about that. And the cool thing is, is remember, Eric wanted to come and wrap that bike. Yeah. And we talked him into doing the custom paint. Yeah. And that, man, it just takes it to another level. And that's why my bike's not here today, because it's in pieces at the shop waiting on Renee to airbrush that one. It's going to be next. That's what we keep telling them. It's going to be next. After but we the always bus. After the boat. After, wait, keep keep sliding other jobs in the middle of it. You know, we're going to get it eventually. Meanwhile, he's renting a uh, little little Tacoma pickup truck four-cylinder. He, he hates it. it. <laughs> I don't love it. I don't love it. <laughs> so, all right. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> are you nervous? Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. What, you think people aren't going to like your work? Is that what you're no, nervous about? I think he's nervous around well, this many bikers. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had my motorcycle here. <laughs> it's not a, now, this is pretty cool. Are we going to do this reveal a, for you and your bike? Hey! <laughs> Rick doesn't have this many have, friends. I was going to say, I don't have that many friends. <laughs> There's been a sighting. The Harley Quinn Harley has arrived. That's you right there, bro. That's you. It looks really good. This is very special because um, to see him right now, to see the smile on his face and see how happy it is, is a big deal. And I think that's what's really important. These are some of my brothers that actually helped wrench on my bike, man. I appreciate them. Made it possible for to get, get it together, uh, to get it here today. So we're excited, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> this, this is the man. Man, my dream come true, man. I took some pictures to him and I said, this is what I want. And as you guys can see, that's the outcome. Dude, man. I, I can't thank you enough. Oh, no, I can't man. You're welcome, man. So the guys painted these for me, the side covers, the, the front fender, and the bags. That's Prodigal Media One, man. This is the first piece of Harley Quinn artwork there yeah, that, I, that I designed. And, and they did it out of aluminum and had it um, powder coated. Uh, these covers, I didn't like the original covers that came with the bags, so I wanted something different to represent Harley Quinn. And sure enough, um, I designed this, uh, took it to Media One and had them cut them out for me. I love the black and the red, too. Honestly, I, I was just going to say that. You told me you wanted to do a black with the red, and I'm like, what? I, I, I never got it. Never never got it, but now I see it all together, man, with all the other black. black. And red. Yep. Everything was done with a purpose. I'm telling awesome. you, man, it looks good. I think it looks great. You guys did a great job, and this man deserves it. This man, like I said earlier, he looks better now. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank you, brother. Great job. Hey, man, look at this, man. Can we get some medium one jackets like this, a little logo? I don't That's think awesome, we can steal man. that logo. They might get mad at us. We're not going to steal it. We got to design one like it. Oh, you know what I mean? We need our cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First of all, we're all here for the bike reveal. Everybody give BX and his team, Media One, and, and um, BX. So who else was it that uh, worked on, made this beautiful bike? God. God, yeah, the, number one, baby. <laughs> they did a great job, man. Congratulations. Let's give them a hand. Give the team that made it possible. Hey, so now we know where to go to get our bikes hooked up, right? 
The National Executive Board has entrusted you to lead our most valued asset, our membership. So today wasn't just about Eric's bike reveal. We also got to witness the transfer of leadership for the club, as well as awards and the induction of new members. This was really cool to be a part of. I'm so proud that you made it, man. I'm good. I'm happy to be here. We have a mission, and our mission is to represent all those who either died in the line of duty or were maimed in the line of duty. And why is that so impactful? It's so impactful because I get to stand here today before you in freedom. I, I mentioned earlier, as of today, 1.2 million, 1.2 million, that's just the military, have died for this country and providing this freedom we have now. We're representing those individuals that made that sacrifice. And our membership is made of all the six military branches, National Guard and Reserve components of that too, and all first responders. How we achieve completion of our mission is by hosting or participating in those events that provide funds for these organizations that provide services for the families of those who have lost someone in service or for those who were seriously maimed in the line of duty. That's how we achieve our mission. And we chose the motorcycle to deliver that mission because for all of us, when we get on that bike, that's what we're reminded of, freedom. Riding the open roads of the United States and you take it all in on that bike. We served our countries or our communities and we know that service wasn't possible without the support of our families. And that's where VEMA takes a bigger step forward by encompassing all our family members to make us stronger. Because we have male and female members that ride. So everything VEMA does is always a family event. We get more participation, bigger camaraderie, and it supports the mission even stronger. And, and in the end, that's what we represent, the brother and sisterhood. So when you serve, it doesn't matter what gender you are. The point is, you served, because it matters. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know, like three months ago, Eric, new customer, pulls up to our shop, never met him before in our lives, and he asked us if we could wrap this motorcycle, and we immediately said, nope, this is a perfect candidate for airbrush, yes. you guys know the story, and then he said, man, when we get done with this, maybe we could do a reveal with my bike club, and we were like, sure, man, that'd be cool. I had no idea it was going to be like this. Man, these guys are awesome. I, I, I couldn't believe it. Nice show of support. Everybody's a real, you know, family, man. Everybody's super tight. Yeah, when, Nate, when Nate gets my bike done, I'm going to go check out some of their events and go ride with these guys. Definitely, definitely. Super cool. Nice I did not know it was going to be this great. I love it. <laughs> As a veteran, how does it make you feel to see this kind of brotherhood? Well, I love it, man. You know, when you get out of the military, and some people don't have a lot of direction, but when you get back with veterans and other people who've been there and know what you've been through, it's, it is family, you know, you're always going to be brothers with people who went through the same things you did. And I like that their mission is to support law enforcement and support veterans organizations and that's what they're all about is charity work for the vets and for law enforcement. You gotta love that. And that's the coolest thing about this, doing this YouTube channel, is because not only are they showing our work, but we get to feature and highlight events like this, clubs like this. Yeah, and bring you attention know. to the things that they do for the community. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's great. And, uh, we get to share that with you guys, and I, th I think that's just the, the yeah. most important thing that we're doing, uh, you know, expand this whole reach of what people are doing on this planet right now. You know, it's great. I've known Eric for several years now. He's a great guy, and I'm so happy for him, and everybody's happy for him. Uh, I remember when he first got that bike, and he's always said that he's gonna do something big. Today, when he rolled up in that bike, I, I just, I, I felt his emotion because I could see his eyes. I know Eric. He was so grateful that he finally achieved his lifelong dream. I had a buddy of mine for about 22 years, and he was my best friend. He was like a brother to me there. In honor of my brother Tony, uh, David Charles Cornell, this is uh, something I put together. And every time I wrenched on it, I thought about him. So, wherever you are, I love you, dude. <laughs>